Hey, it's Dave from Bullpen Cycles, and we are in beautiful Hamington, New Jersey, at probably the most anticipated event in the state. I love the smell of two-stroke smoke. Greta Thunberg would be proud. We are at the Nesco Vintage Bike Swap Meet. Nesco, Nesco, Nesco! All right, so we're unloaded. I'm gonna show you this abortion that I just unloaded. And if you know what it is and you can guess it 100%, you are smarter than I am. So take a look at it and we will come back to it later. So it's $5 to get in, which is good. It's two nights or two days and it's worth coming both days, but I can't because tomorrow we're going to Piston Poppers. Now they have a racetrack here, and normally that's open for track day, but for some reason track day was canceled this year. So it is just, just the swap meet. And right away, we got, now, is that a Frontera or a, that's a Perse. That's a late Perse. Ooh, and I almost bought enough money. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Seventy-two Osa. 1700 bucks cheap 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 that's not an irc carburetor i wonder what that is and here's a phantom I just got here. So much to choose from. Penton forks. Wonder what that's to. I think I'm going to miss out on that purse I... I'm not saying anything because I don't know. I always thought yellow was a 125. But it doesn't say. How about the Econoline pickup truck? Perfect. This is a great show, folks. I didn't even get to the next stand. Reserve gas tank. These go behind your number plate. A Serbi. How much is the gas tank? 120. I'll have to watch my money first. Yeah. Is this the odd Elsinore with the 23 inch yeah. front wheel? 29 only. Yeah.
Can you still get tires for that? I believe so, yeah. Yeah, they're the original ones. Yeah, it's nice. And I think the next year was water cooled, right? No, uh, 83? Okay, it came out later. How much is that? Five or best offer. Yeah, those moves are hot. Yeah, they're crazy money, man. I don't know if it's an H6 or a Capra. It might be a big board looking at the size of that head. We'll have to ask. Is that your Montessa? Is that a VR, Capra, or? A B. Huh? It's a B. Excuse me? It's a B. B, okay. B, it's a 77. And is it a 360 or a 250? 360. What are you asking for? 95. So much good stuff here, man. Yeah, I know. Honda QA50s? I always thought they looked like an ant. An angry ant. Suzuki motor. Now, I don't know if that's a DS7 or an RD250. I think it's a DS7 because it has drum brakes, but it's got reed valves. Model 352, so you'd have to Google that. hundred dollars Chinese four-wheeler with a Honda clone motor or you can get a Honda looks like a small DR yeah DRZ 400 I'm thinking it's Chinese no it's a Honda and a puppy hi puppy you're a good boy. Let's take a look at the track. Unfortunately, they're not running it today. Nice little small track. It's neat when they run it. Wonder what happened. There's the MX-250. like a Honda step through but it's got a two-stroke engine in it. What is that? It looks like a Honda step through but it's got a two-stroke motor in it. Oh it's like a U7 or a U5 or something. 
1963, whatever it is. It oh, it's good. earlier. Okay. Yeah. Huh. Something I found in somebody's garage. Yeah. Sounds great. Yeah. Electric star, too, is really freaking me out. Yeah. TM 400. Board out and pistons there, too. Yeah, I don't have one of those. TL Honda, this was Honda's trials bike. A 125, which they're kind of rare. Plenty of 250s around. Not as many 125s. Speaking about trials bikes, here's a TY. It's probably a 250. Uh-oh. Old Montessa fenders. DT 400 gas tank. Yep, it's a TY 250. Yamaha's Trials bike. You could get these with or without a lighting kit. doing today? I am well. Yourself? I'm uh, doing even better. Things to sell. Getting organized too. I have to go through the whole show first because I only have so much money. $150 generator. These are different. There's a tri zinger and a four zinger. <laughs> Another cute puppy dog. A Wee Strom. You're on camera. I, I, I'm not wandering around this uh, okay. Right. I go to, like I go to Ohio, people that I see are like, hey, can I help you unload your trailer? Hey, you want a beer? Yeah, yeah. Hey, you want a burger? It's like, man, I, at home people act like it don't even exist and else they need a favor. Yeah. But you come to a swap meet, everybody's in a good mood. Like, that guy next to me went out of his way to help me with any anything I needed. He's like, hey, can I help you? Hey, you want to charge your cell phone? Wow. You know, it's like, yeah. it's like so, I mean, that makes it worthwhile if you're not making money, you know? Yeah. The little things like that. Well, I go to get rid of stuff. Yes, yeah, me too, but I, I don't, I sometimes I come up with the same amount of stuff. Yeah, that's stuff. true. That happens. You know, when I come to these shows, I never remember what I'm looking for. I have so many bikes, it, I don't remember half the time. any Sunday posters that would be cool Moda Guzzi's TT850 it's a good-looking bike funky because this is twin carb on one cylinder and it's a primary and a secondary carb so one opens up first before the other motor is fresh needs carbs and a Suzuki twin BSA books 
The wrong Mustang. I was looking for maybe Mustang scooters. Now these three wheelers are unique because they're shaft drive. Kawasaki had shaft drives. TS-185. YZ-250. it's the place for three-wheelers and puppies lots of puppies more zingers so that's the theme this year old three-wheelers and four-wheelers not the last year, it's no. the second last year. The MK-12 was actually the last. Then if you want to get really, there was an MK-15, but it was never offered to the public. It was uh, just in racing. Yo. What's going on, man? And this is glass? Yeah, these were last year, the fiberglass. The following year, the 12s were all plastic. And it was a kind of different looking tank, too. Actually, the, I thought they should have kept this tank, but make it out of plastic. And so you were saying the American ones got the lay down S and W shocks, right? Even they started that in '77 too. Uh huh. They would take off with Spain, the, the get Baders or Telescos, and you got a, a set of uh, S and Ws in its place. And here's another tip. Though. And this is for what would have been the Baders oh, or the remote a... reservoir. Yeah. Oh, that's for the remote reservoir. Mm -hmm. So where would the they shock? Okay, so the shock would mount in the same place. Yes. It's just the reservoir. It was a uh, hose to the remote reservoir. I got it. Now the 125 and 77 came with S and Ws and Electron car, but only the 125. Was that the six speed in that year? Yeah. I have one of those motors, but I need a piston for it. Yeah. Do you know any place to get that? I have one extra piston. Hughes got a few. I, I'll call. I'll call Timmy. He's there. He might have it, but if not, he's I'll call you. Run. I have three engines. I have oh, oh, well, then you need it. Yeah, all right. Well, I bought the engine because I figured someone would want the training out of it. But yeah, I've got a 125 chassis, an earlier one. Well, that'll. That Potaco was Joe, and Joe is the organizer of this event. And apparently they didn't have track day today because the liability insurance is crazy and he didn't have enough helpers. But now, I know I'm a motorcycle guy, but I have to show you this truck. This is a 1958 Napco four-wheel drive. I think it's a Chevy, not a GMC. In these years, you couldn't get a four-wheel drive from Chevy you get it from Napco and they would convert it. They would either convert it at Napco or at the dealer. And usually there's a tag. Oh, this is a GMC. Usually there's a tag and there probably is. And it's gonna have these big honking military axles on it. With that giant ball knuckle. And then it says, Napco on the front axle. A lot of these were bought by the Forest Service. That's how I became aware of them. I had one when I was a kid sowing seeds in Idaho. Had to show you that. Man, I tell you, there is always, always Spanish stuff here. Always a little bit of Swedish. Didn't see much in the way of Mako. But there's a whole nother day yet. You come with one and you leave with two.
So in all that excitement, I forgot to tell you what this was. If you guessed MX250, you were... Nope. And when I got it, I was off too because it's a 75 MX400B or is it? It got traded in on a Triumph Sprint that I had. And uh, I assumed 75 MX400B. The only difference between that, of course, the engine. 250 had a red tank and the 400 had a yellow tank. 510 is the giveaway, that's the model number, which corresponds to an MX400B. But wait, there's something weird about it. The MX400B, which was the predecessor to the YZ, was the first Yamaha bike with monoshock. And this is twin shock. I saw the twin shock in the works performance rear shocks, and I thought vintage motocross. And it is, but it's what's called a rule breaker. That's because in Arma, you can't run monoshock in the 74 and earlier class, because monoshock is later technology. So this, by converting it to twin shock, by putting the twin shock swing arm on it, and converting it, allows you to run in the pre-74 classes. So that's pretty cool. And of course, it's got period Terry kit air caps on it, a fork brace. Now, I think there's something different in the front end too. I remember when I put fork seals on it. I think it's later YZ front forks. This was somebody's Arma class race bike and it runs like a top. I haven't decided what to do with it. I've had it for a number of years. I was using it as a farm bike. I think it might make an awesome flat tracker. Or if you ride better than I, could be your next Arma. But uh, so that was an abortion. But I guess wrong when I bought it. <laughs>